two eighth graders started writing to each other in the late 1980s through a 4-H pen pal program. They continued on through college, lost contact, then the woman came to Billings for a 4-H conference, and through a series of events they were able to reconnect and met for the first time in person. These are some of the letters and artwork that Emily Masters received from Dan Burns almost 40 years ago as pen pals. Last week, after losing touch for the last 10 to 20 years, they finally met in person. It was like no time had passed. I had never met him in person, but when I saw him in person, it just felt like I knew him. Emily grew up in Ohio and Dan lived in Laurel. They started writing to each other through a 4-H pen pal program in the 8th grade. We're coming up as adolescents and I think we could safely bounce ideas off of each other and it wasn't one of our immediate classmates. They continued writing through college and lost touch after communicating on social media before reconnecting. He's my brother. I don't think you can just uh, create this kind of stuff. I mean, that's why I'm just overwhelmed with emotion because it's just so special. Dan has pictures of Emily in his family collage. Emily, along with her friend and colleague, Aaron Simpson Sloan, came to Billings last week for a 4-H convention. It was 4-H that brought us together, and it was also 4-H that reunited us. During a break from the meetings, Emily and Aaron looked to do some early Christmas shopping for their families at the Montana Dress Company, where after hearing the story, Kareen Kelly helped search for Dan. And then you showed me, and I'm like, yes, oh my gosh, that's him on her Instagram. And they got to meet, and her emotion, and Aaron's, um, it just, I just think it's just a really great story. And the bond has grown to include Dan's wife, Emily's family, and Aaron and her family. Not only do I have my Dan, but his wife, she's so special too. I feel like I have a sister. We're going to maintain contact this time. My new Ohio friend. Yes. And workers at the Montana Dress Company have also become yes, part of the friendship. Sure. We'll miss you, but we will be back. In Billings, David J, MTN News.